Good day everyone! My name is Angel. Welcome back to PRC Interview Series. Hello everyone and welcome to the Philippine Retirement Consultant Services. At PRC, we provide valuable support and guidance for those who are looking to navigate the fascinating and diverse culture of the Philippines for impossible retirement home or to enjoy the fantastic tourism adventure. In our latest video, we follow PRC mentor Glenn as he takes client Lowell on an immersive journey through some of the most breathtaking locations in the Philippines. But before we continue guys, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button now and possibly give us a thumbs up and drop us a comment at the end of the video if you think we have earned it. Join us on this exhilarating tour through the beauty and culture of the Philippines and let PRC Mentor and Guide Services be your gateway to a truly transformative experience. PRC Mentor and Guide Services can enhance a traveler's experience in exploring the beautiful tropical paradise of the Philippines in several ways. First, we have local expertise. PRC Mentors and Guides are knowledgeable about local culture, history, and the geography of the Philippines. They can provide insights on best places to visit, hidden gems, and off-the-path beaten destinations where tourists may not know of. Second, we have personalized itineraries. PRC mentors or guides can create a personalized itineraries based on the traveler's interest, preference, and travel style. Whether the traveler is interested in beach hopping, hiking, cultural immersion, or food exploration, the PRC mentors can tailor the experience that suits their needs. Third, we have language and cultural support. PRC mentors or guides can assist the travelers with the language barriers and the cultural differences, helping to bridge the gap and enhance communication with the locals. They can also provide guidance on cultural norms, etiquette, and customs to ensure a respectful and immersive experience. Fourth, safety and security. PRC mentors and guides can offer valuable tips on how to stay safe while traveling in the Philippines. They can also provide assistance in navigating unfamiliar places and making sure that the traveler's needs are met. And lastly, insider access. PRC mentors and guides often have connections with insider businesses, communities, and of course, attractions allowing travelers to have a unique and exclusive experience that may not be available to average tourists. Overall, PRC Mentor and Guide Services can greatly enhance a traveler's experience in exploring the beautiful tropical paradise of the Philippines by providing valuable insights, personal support, and a deeper immersion into the local culture and natural beauty of the country. Let's now jump right into Lowell's interview with his PRC mentor Glenn, accompanied by Yolanda. Hi everyone, I'm Yolanda and I'm here with Mr. Lowell and one of our mentor guide of the PRC, uh, Glenn. Hi. After mentor Glenn fetched Lowell at the airport, they visited the Mactan Shrine on the initial day of their trip. Lowell was very amazed by their trip and allowed them to learn more about the rich cultural heritage and history of the Philippines and pay tribute to the bravery and resilience of the Filipino people in the face of colonization. After exploring the shrine, they continued their trip with visits to the other historical sites and landmarks in the area, immersing themselves in the vibrant culture and the traditions of the Philippines. Mentor Glenn took client Lowell to the two iconic landmarks, Magellan Cross and the Santo Niño. Magellan's Cross, planted by Ferdinand Magellan in 1521, symbolizes the arrival of Christianity. Lowell felt awe and reverence as they stood before the cross. They then went to the Santo Niño Cathedral, a majestic church dedicated to the Santo Niño. Lowell left with a deeper appreciation for the historical and cultural significance of these landmarks, feeling a sense of peace and spirituality. Um, thank you for having us today and thank you for your time. So I have to 
<laughs> Can you tell us a little about yourself? Sure. Uh, my name is Lowell and I'm from Kentucky. Um, I had a lot of life changes over the last couple of years and I've been looking at some place where it's affordable to retire. Mm -hmm. And the Philippines is one of the places that I'm looking at. Um, it's going to be years still until I can retire. I've got uh, a lot of time and I'm going, uh, the idea is to go to on a trip about once a year. Um, and I've got a friend who is in the Philippines, but in Angeles City. Um, and I'm actually going to go visit him next. Um, but other people, other uh, expats and YouTubers and that sort of thing, they suggested visiting Cebu, mm -hmm. Cebu City. Yeah. Uh, instead of, say, going to Dumaguete first, go to Cebu because it's a uh, bigger, bigger city, a different experience. Um, that turned out to actually be a great, great advice for somebody that has absolutely no experience yet because it kind of worried me. It kind of made me think, um, what what am I going to get into? What are the things that I have no idea what I don't know? And that's where Glendale, Glenn mm -hmm. has come in because he's, it's, it's been amazing. The things that I would have spent hours trying to figure out, just even just transportation, uh, he's able to just Oh, we're going here. We're going here. It's, and, I, and I'm not kidding. Being with Glenn on this trip is like having a cheat code to get through uh, an entire city. It's, it's amazing. It's so quick. Afterwards, they made their way to Fort of San Pedro and explored the Archdiocesan Museum of Cebu. Following their visit, they took a leisurely experience at the Cebu Ocean Park. During their upcoming journey, they visited the 10,000 Roses in Cordova and dined at the recently established restaurant Sunka Native Restaurant known for its breathtaking ambience and large koi pond. On their next outing, they visited Charlie's Cup Coffee, a charming roadside cafe on the cliffs of Balamban, Cebu. They enjoyed a mesmerizing view while sampling the cafe's diverse coffee offerings. The Temple of Leia had left them in awe. Its intricate details and majestic statues invoking a sense of wonder and reverence. After exploring the breathtaking Temple of Leia with its grandiose architecture and stunning panoramic views of Cebu City, they eagerly continued their journey towards the bustling Ayala Mall. So the looking for um, different places where mm -hmm. I can retire mm -hmm. and the Philippines is the first one on my list. Uh, I know that uh, not everybody, but a lot of people speak English, so I thought that that would be helpful. But honestly, it turned out mm -hmm. that um, being able to speak the science, the science, yeah. mm -hmm. which is what, which is yeah. Glenn's expertise, yeah. <laughs> um, it was way more helpful than I could have ever imagined. Mm -hmm. uh, talking to uh, like the the drivers, the trike driver, ah, yes, um, yes. or just things as simple as um, no, figuring out how many pesos to pay yeah, yeah, for, for the, trike. the trike and the transportation yes. in Cebu. Um, yeah, that, that saved me so much, so so many headaches that I don't have. What did you enjoy seeing in Cebu City? Uh, oh, there's there was a lot, and we saw a lot. Um, we saw the Temple of Leia, mm -hmm. and actually, you know, this is something that before the trip, mm -hmm. I um, asked, I, I gave Glenn a, a list of things that mm -hmm. I knew about yeah. in Cebu, and one of them was actually on the mountain past the Temple of Leia. Uh, it was a uh, because I'm I'm interested in coffee. Mm -hmm. uh, I I'm a bit of a coffee snob. Okay, oh, okay. I am. I, I hope that doesn't offend people, but you know I am. 
and I heard that the Philippines had good coffee. Mm -hmm. So we went to a place that overlooked where they grow coffee, mm -hmm. uh, Charlie's Cup. Yeah, Charlie's Cup. And it was out past the Temple of Leah. Mm -hmm. We rented, we hired scooters to get there, and Len set that entire thing up, and I, it wasn't until we were arriving at Charlie's Cup, Charlie's and I was like, Oh my gosh, we're here! I couldn't believe it. It was it was amazing. Yeah. It was it was a crazy experience to be on the back of a scooter. The scooter and then did who is the pancake? The sandwich in the scooter. Ah, no, we had two. We had two. Two pancake. So moving to their another day trip, Lowell was excited to learn about the rich history and cultural of the Philippines. They wandered through the exhibits at the National Museum of the Philippines in Cebu. Their subsequent stop was at the Heritage of Cebu Monument, a historical landmark in Cebu City, Philippine that showcases significant events and figures in the city's history. Followed by a visit to the Yap San Diego Ancestral House, a well-preserved heritage house that dates back to the 17th century. During their final excursion in Cebu City, they made a brief visit at Fuente Osmeña Circle. So, what about in Sikihor? What did you um what did you enjoy seeing in Sikihor? So, in in Sikihor, there's there are a lot of natural wonders to mm -hmm. see. So, the beaches are amazing. There's one where it's like a an island came out of the beach and the yes. beach is all covered in coral and shells. Mm -hmm. um, that was pretty amazing. But Sikihor is known for magic and witches yes. and yes. potions yes. and healers. And I went to a faith healer mm -hmm. and we we didn't we didn't know we had first name. Yes. We had a first name yes. and no idea. and a general kind of idea where we were going. Mm -hmm. And so Glenn with the uh, with the uh, trike yeah. driver yes, with driver. Um, Bernard. Bernard, yes. thank you, Bernard. Figured out one how to get to the top of the mountain yeah. because that actually that was an adventure in and of itself. We had to we we had to take the trike, the trike. as far as we could. Then the driver called his son who brought a motor, motor scooter bike. motorbike. Motor so then we got on the motorbike <laughs> and we went. From the motorbike to the hotel mm. because it was too steep for the trike. Yeah. Mm. Because the road is not, not nice, it's bumpy. Uh, it oh. was it was just so steep. So, yeah. so ah. steep. Yeah. Um, it was uh, that was an adventure in and of itself. But then the next day it was pouring down rain. <laughs> and that seems to be our that yeah. seems to be our curse. Mm -hmm. Whenever we whenever we rent a uh, motorbike, motorbike, yeah, motorbike. Yeah. Yeah. And it rain. rains. Well, yeah. Sometimes it only rains yes. like while we're on the bike. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then, yeah. then after that, it clears right. up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it seems to be the seems to be the case. Yeah. Anyway, um, but that that experience. So we we had to work our way to San Antonio. Yes. Is that right? Yes. And so the the trike driver was stopping and asking people yes. as we got closer mm. it was like people knew more yeah. and as as we kept getting closer and of course it's pouring down rain yes. so it was a it was really it was a great experience a, it was a memorable experience that allowed them to appreciate the city's past and it's significant in shaping the present finally they ventured to Sikihor island where they encountered the local witchcraft relaxed on the beautiful white beaches and explore the diverse marine life in the sanctuary. That's also included to your list going up. You know what? That wasn't <laughs> actually this. The entire trip to yes. to Sikihor mm. was kind of a kind of a hey, you want to do this? Yes. Mm, yeah. And you want to do that? Yes. It it, it worked. Yeah. I mean, oh yeah, we had uh, we had um, in in Cebu City. We went to SMC side, mm -hmm. and SMC side. Go to SMC side because it is the best mall that I've ever been to in my life. I couldn't believe four stories. It's huge. There's 
an ice skating yeah, rink yeah. in there. <laughs> yes. And there's everything. And it was one of the first stops because I had to get a phone. Mm. I had, you know, had to get a phone, yeah. had to get some, back. all that stuff. Yeah, yes. And, um, okay, slightly side story here. Okay. Edit this. Yeah. You forget you know. about the ocean park? Oh, well, yeah. we'll get to the ocean park in a second. Yes. But, but the, so if you're, if you're coming to the Philippines, mm -hmm. You want to get a phone, you want to get a SIM card, yes. mm -hmm. and yes. I wanted to keep my old, I wanted to keep my regular phone yes. with the regular SIM card yes. so that when I started to use my debit card or my credit card, I would get the text. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so that's why I wanted a second phone. Okay, so at SMC side, they have the, I don't remember what they call it, but there's a whole section where it's just electronics. Yes, yes. Like cyber zone, yes. cyber zone, and so we went there to get the the phone, and you're able to walk around, and then we went in one store where strategically the sales lady and her partner yes. kind of blocked us yes. from from exiting, <laughs> from exiting. Yeah. right, and. I was thinking. I was thinking after the fact. If I was there by myself, mm -hmm. I probably wouldn't yeah. have been able to, like, work through everything that we worked yeah. through with them, because they were they were wanting to sell one particular phone, phone. and yes, we had already yes, done yes, some yes. exploring so, yes. to figure out yeah. which one was a, was a good, good one, one yeah. and then. They ended up finding the exact one that I wanted, mm -hmm. which they probably wouldn't have otherwise. So it was it was good to have a partner yeah. oh, to yes. be able to do that. Yeah, so it was so you. yeah, I wasn't overwhelmed by the salespeople. Yeah. So I have Mr. Glenn. Yeah. What? what what do you like about guiding? Uh, well, I really enjoy teaching people from other countries mm -hmm. uh, about my culture and sharing him the historical significant sites of the Philippines. I know that you have not seen much of the Santander area, but how do you like our small province so far? Oh, everything, everything yes. here is yes. amazing. It's so beautiful. It, it's, it's amazing. The, the weather mm -hmm. and just how easygoing and happy everybody is. It's great. Um, I know you are an experienced world traveler. What made you decide to use our services here in the Philippines? Well, I, I knew that I was getting in over my head mm. going to Cebu first. And since there are so many things that I, I, I know that I don't know, I just, I, I figure it is worth spending the money to get someone who can speak the language and who knows the area because the public transportation is uh, it's difficult because you can't just go and look up the schedule you have to see the vehicle and you have to read the plaque that's on the vehicle and you don't know where those places are right yeah like um Glenn does, mm -hmm. you know, yes. <laughs> he knows where they are. Yes. Sometimes the, the signage are too small. Yeah, yeah. right, it's right. Insane. I must have asked you six or seven times at yeah. least <laughs> just in one day, where is this one going? <laughs> yeah. The, the right, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Mm. Yep. Okay. Oh, oh, and then at uh, Ayala, uh -huh. right, when we were at yeah. Ayala. I, I wouldn't, I, I would not have been able to mm. get from Ayala Mall to back to Lapu Lapu City. Oh, yes. I wouldn't have been able to do it. Yes. There wasn't any signs. Yeah, yeah. there are no you signs. Know? Even here in the province, we don't have signs. Yeah, mm -hmm. there's no yeah. signs. Uh, station. Mm. Yeah, station. right. So, Glenn, oh. what do you find most rewarding about being a guide in PRC? Mm. I love making new friends. I love meeting new interesting people from other countries mm. and I love getting to show them the beautiful areas around here in the Philippines. I love taking them to the waterfalls, um, taking them to island hopping, mm -hmm. um, taking them to try new foods and restaurants. Okay, yeah, that's that's good. 
So, well, do you feel that our services meet your needs? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, I would highly recommend for everyone. If you're, I'm, I'm not kidding. Oh. If, if, if the person watching this is thinking about coming here and you get that feeling like, I don't know, I don't know what I don't know, and you know, spend the money. It's not that much money. It's really hardly anything, and I would have paid, this, but I would pay <laughs> three or four times more. <laughs> yes. Yeah, because that's how valuable it is. Thank you. One of the things, though, that I, I guess we should explain, maybe, yes, is yes. Uh, like how it works in that um, if if we're going out to eat, mm -hmm. then I'm paying for food. Yes. If um, yes. if we're transportation, I'm paying for transportation. Yes. Uh, we went on, you know, a kind of a uh, unusual trip mm -hmm. where you didn't have a place to stay. Yeah. So I got two rooms mm -hmm. wherever we went, so that you had a place to stay, mm -hmm. and that, you know, again, it's it worked out so well. Will you choose to use our services again? Yes. Yeah. Because honestly, I, I, yes, I, yes, that's I mean, great. Yeah. It, it, this is yeah, awesome. Just <laughs> to see is to believe. <laughs> and I still, you know, I, there's still a lot of transportation up yes. there in Cebu that yes. I probably would. You get lost. <laughs> yes. Yeah. You, now one week will you stand there? It was like yeah. more weeks. Yes. Yeah. There, and it's, you always do the taxi. Taxi. Yeah. That's expensive. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the public transportation, that was one of the things that I said I wanted mm -hmm. to do, is to find out what's it like to really be here and to travel like a local. Mm -hmm. And that's where mm -hmm. I found out, oh, there's a lot of stuff I don't know. Yeah. Do you have any advice for our viewers? Oh. Um, yes. So let me think about that because... On definitely, it's absolutely worth the money to hire the guides. It's it's you you will get a much richer experience because they're speaking the local language. Mm -hmm. They uh, you know they they know when somebody's about to take advantage of you, yes, you know what's yes. a fair mm -hmm. amount. Yes. I mean, that in and of itself is yes. worth mm -hmm. the cost, but everything just goes so much smoother when you're, you're learning as you go as a, and you're able to observe. And that, that's better than learning as you go and trying to figure out every step along the way. That's why I said... Yeah. It, Len is like having a cheat code oh, yeah. for Cebu City and Lapu Lapu. It's, it's awesome. Yeah. Um, Sir Glenn? Yes. Yes. What do you feel is the most important thing you teach our clients in Cebu City? Well, the most important thing is the transportation. Uh, there are different types of transportation here in um, Cebu City, especially the Philippines. Uh, one is the taxi. Yes. Uh, the jeepney, mm -hmm. the modernized bus, the tricycle, which is basically a bicycle yes. uh, with a sidecar, yes. a tricycle, upgraded version of a tricycle, mm -hmm. and the habal habal, a kind of motor, uh, motorcycle taxi. Well, mm -hmm. yeah, how did you yeah. find our PRC? Uh, so, I watch a lot of YouTubers, right? Yeah, I have a lot of YouTube feeds, mm -hmm. and you guys came up about three months ago. Really? Yeah, it was just mm -hmm. in. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and so I started watching, I subscribed, started mm -hmm. watching the channels. Oh. Yeah. We don't was... know what your name there is. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's secret. You, you never commented on that? I don't know, probably not. Maybe uh, that's just what, that's just what. Yeah. Silent yeah, just watcher. Watch. Yeah. <laughs> So thank you for having us today. Thank you.